For seven decades, CPS Energy has proudly served the people of San Antonio as a municipally owned utility. Throughout the years, generations of employees have worked hard to provide the greater San Antonio area with the best electric and natural gas services possible. This year marks our 70th anniversary as a city-owned utility. While our history dates back more than a century ago, our story didn't start until October 24, 1942. Joe Fulton, who retired from CPS Energy in 2007, is working on a book about the company's history and can best tell the story about this historic purchase. Even though our uh, uh, company goes back to 1860, it only became a municipal entity in 1942. And that was in a very roundabout way, as a matter of fact. Uh, uh, in 1935, a law was passed to break up utility holding companies. And the San Antonio Public Service Company was part of a very large holding company called the American Light and Traction Company out of New York City. And uh, in 1940, they were ordered to divest their, uh, American Light and Traction was ordered to divest the San Antonio Public Service Company. In 1942, a company outside San Antonio approached American Light and Traction and the mayor to strike a deal to purchase the utility. But during the process, a citizen spoke up and convinced the mayor to oppose the deal. There was a huge legal battle. Twenty lawsuits were filed. Finally, the lawsuits were settled on the very last day. The city of San Antonio, for, for about $34 million, bought the San Antonio Public Service Company. The city has wisely used the funds to improve our quality of life. If leaders wouldn't have had the foresight to buy the utilities seven decades ago, the city would have missed out on a big return on investment that has greatly benefited San Antonio. So we'd be out $5 billion. That goes into the city's general fund. That pays for police, for fire, for parks, for roads, for uh, health programs, things like that. Those are quality of life things. Take $5 billion out of the quality of life for city of San Antonio, and we'd have had a much lower quality of life than we experience today. We'd have had the energy, but we would not have had the quality of life that we experience today.